Okay guys, we are back with the Yodin Project and we're going to finish the last prerequisite, which is setting up Git. Git is a very popular version control system. You'll become very familiar with this piece of software throughout the Odin Project, so don't worry too much about understanding it at this point. There are many lessons focused on Git later in the curriculum. GitHub is a service that allows you to upload your code using Git and to manage your code with a nice web interface. GitHub and Git are not the same thing or even the same company. Okay, so we have already done GitHub, and so now Git's not the same thing. So now we gotta run these commands. Let's get our terminal open and sudo app update. Um, <clears throat> Oops. Okay. Run these commands to update the Linux system. And now we're going to install Git. You likely have Git installed already, but to make sure that we have the most up-to-date version of Git, run the following commands. sudo add apt repository ppa git dash core slash ppa. Okay. Um, the most current stable version of Git from Ubuntu. Okay. Alright, so now sudo apt update. Done and sudo apt install git. I guess I want to continue. So now we're going to make sure our git version is at least 2.228 by running this command. So git version. And we're at 2.38, so we're good. <clears throat> All right, now we're going to configure Git and GitHub. Create a GitHub account, which I've already done. So you guys go to GitHub and create an account. And during the account setup, it will ask you for an email address. This needs to be a real email and will be used by default to identify your contributions. If you are privacy conscious or just don't want your email address to be publicly available, make sure you tick the following two boxes on the email settings page after you've signed in. Having these two options enabled will prevent you accidentally exposing your personal email address when working with Git and GitHub. You may also notice an email address under the Keep My Email Address as Private option. This is your private GitHub email address. If you plan to use this, make note of it now as you will need it when setting up your Git in the next step. Um, set up Git. For Git to work properly, we need to know, let it know who we are so that we can link a local Git user, you, to GitHub. When working on a team, this allows people to see what you have committed, and who committed each line of code. The commands below will configure Git. Be sure to use enter your own information inside the quotes, but include the quotation marks. So I'm just going to make sure that my um, So check my GitHub email. Oh, I think it's just um, Okay, all right, so now 
Let's go ahead and do this. So git config dash dash global user dot name and then we're gonna put Twitter develops in there. And then we're gonna put git config dash dash dot equals equals global user dot email. And then we're gonna put our email inside there. GitHub recently changed the default branch on new repositories from master to main. Change the default branch for git using this command. So git config dash dash global init.default branch main. To enable colorful output with git type git config dash dash global color dot ui auto. Alright, to verify that things are working properly, enter these commands and verify whether the output matches your name and email address. So git config dash dash git user dot name. Okay, git config dash dash git user dot email. Alright, everything looks correct. Alright, and if you're a Mac user, you're going to have to do this. Alright, so step 2.3, create an SSH key. An SSH key is a cryptographically secure identifier. It's like a really long password used to identify your machine. GitHub uses SSH keys to allow you to upload your repository without having to type in your username and password every time. First, we need to see if you have an ED25519 algorithm SSH key already installed. Type this into the terminal and check the output with the information below. So ls um, slash dot ssh slash id underscore ed two five five one nine dash up cannot access. If any a message, if a message appears containing no such file or directory, then you do not yet have a key, and you will need to create one. If no such message has appeared, you can proceed to step 2.4. To create an SSH key, run the following command inside your terminal. The C flag followed by your email address ensures that GitHub knows who you are. So we're going to do SSH dash keygen dash t ed two five five one nine dash c and then we're going to put ritter develops at gmail.com all right for example if your email address is odin at the odin project then you would type ss keygen dash t ed two five five one nine dash c um, okay you will see this convention of using angle brackets to indicate placeholder text used throughout the odin project's curriculum and other coding websites so it's good to be familiar with what it means all right so and when it prompts you for a location to save generate a key just push enter unexpected token did i type that in correctly new bash syntax error near unexpected token new line um let me try it again ssh dash key gen dash t ed two five five one nine dash c oh i'm not supposed to put those in there this is what Twitter develops at gmail.com. All right. Um, enter file in which to save the key. Just push enter. Nest, it will ask for a password. Enter one if you wish, but it's not required. Okay. Enter same. I'm just going to do nothing. The key's random art image is this. Now, you need to tell GitHub what your SSH key is so that you can push your code without typing in password every time. First, you'll navigate to where GitHub receives our SSH key. 
Log in to GitHub and click on your profile picture in the top right corner, then click settings in the drop down menu. So I already have this open on my other screen, so I'm not going to show that, but I clicked on settings on the left hand, click SSH and GP, G keys, okay. Um, then click the green button in the top right corner that says new SSH key. Name your key something that is descriptive enough for you to remember where it came from. Leave this window open while you do the next steps. Now you need to copy your public SSH key. To do this, we're going to use a command called cat. To read the file to the console, notice, note that the pub file extension is important in this case. Um, cat slash dot ssh slash id underscore ed. 25519.pub Highlight and copy the output which starts with um, what did I mess up here? Oh, I know what I did. Okay, so now we're going to highlight and copy the output. Copy and paste. All right, because I have this in my regular browser, I'm gonna have to do it here, github.com, and hopefully I can Remember my password for github.com. I put it in LastPass. So let's go ahead and sign in here. settings just so you guys know where this is and then we're going to go here and then we're going to go new ssh key and then we should be able to paste that here right into the key field and then hit add ssh key and you know what i did not title that um I did not title that, but we're going to know the one with no title <laughs> is the one we're working with. Um, highlight and copy the output. We did that. Now go back to GitHub in your browser and paste the copy and you're done. Okay, testing your key. Follow the directions in this article from GitHub to verify your SSH connection. Don't forget to omit the money when you copy and paste the code. So, testing your SSH connection. When you test your connection, you'll need to authenticate this action using your password, which is the SSH key passphrase you created earlier. For more information on working with the SSH key passphrase, see working with SSH key passphrase. So we're going to enter the following. Okay. I did not mean to do that. We're going to do. Paste. Paste unsafe. That's not what I was trying to paste. I was trying to paste that. Paste. Okay. The authenticity of host can't be established. ED key fingerprint. This key is not known by any other names. Are you sure you want to con continue connecting? Yes. Um, verify the thing for the message, yes. You may see this error message. Um, can't be established. This key is not known by any other names. Are you connecting? Are you sure you want to continue connecting? Yes. Permanently added GitHub to the list of known hosts. Hybrid or developed, she successfully authenticated, but GitHub does not provide a shell access.
Okay. This is a known problem. Verifying that verify that the results the resulting message contains your username. If you received a permission deny message, okay, which we did not, so we should be good there. And I think that's it, guys. Um, you can get some additional resources here about understanding SSH key pairs and asymmetric encryption. And we're going to go ahead and mark this one complete, and I will see you guys on the next one.